In what can only be described as a whoa moment, The Matrix catapulted Keanu Reeves from a well-known Hollywood actor to a global superstar, and he hasn't been the same ever since. The Matrix was far from Reeves' first significant movie role. The actor was already well-established and had appeared in a number of hit films, from Speed alongside Sandra Bullock to the comedy time-traveling series Bill & Ted. However, the sheer popularity of the Wachowski cyberpunk spectacle and its widespread success catapulted Reeves and many other cast members to a new level of superstardom. Reeves went from being a fairly recognizable actor to a hugely beloved star almost overnight. It provided him with a more serious image and led to audiences seeing him in a different light than before. In an interview with Esquire, the actor revealed his gratitude to Will Smith for turning down the role of Neo in the first place and detailed some of the impact the movie had on him. He said, Well, it changed my life. And it was such a wonderful, creative experience. And so to play Neo in the Matrix trilogy and now in the fourth, it impacted my life, personally and creatively. The release of The Matrix may have been a watershed moment in Keanu Reeves' career, but the movie also marked a more tragic turn in his personal life. Just a few months after the film was released, his longtime girlfriend Jennifer Syme gave birth to a stillborn daughter named Ava. The grief ultimately led to Reeves and Syme ending their relationship shortly afterward, with the loss of their child causing a tremendous strain between them. Despite this, they remained close and were on friendly terms. They later reconciled and once again started dating. In 2001, Syme died after she crashed her car while returning to a party hosted by shock rocker Marilyn Manson. According to police reports, she lost control of her vehicle and made contact with several parked cars, which caused Syme to eject from the car at high speed. Reeves has rarely spoken about his personal life, but opened up to The Guardian, saying, Grief and loss, those are things that don't ever go away. They stay with you. The Matrix ensured Keanu Reeves' life would be forever changed simply because of the amount of money that he earned from the role. He became one of the highest paid actors of all time, receiving somewhere in the region of $15 million per film. But what really made the series a payday for Reeves is that he received a cut of the gross earnings for the original trilogy. Considering that the first few films were all huge financial money makers and brought in more than $1.6 billion total, the actor was certainly able to cash in as well. Throwing his performance in The Matrix Resurrections, and Reeves is reported to have been paid a total of $150 million for portraying Neo on screen. That puts the role among the most expensive in movie history and undoubtedly can be considered life-changing money for any individual. Wow, that sounds like a really good deal. Although Keanu Reeves came to the public's attention as a result of his breakthrough role in Bill & Ted's Excellent Adventure in 1989, the actor was perhaps best known as an action star. He had leading parts in Point Break and Speed in the early 1990s, portraying law enforcement officers attempting to stop criminals from carrying out dastardly plans. But it was his performance in The Matrix that truly established Reeves as a bankable and leading action hero. After starring as Neo in the first three Matrix films, he took on the leading role in the 2013 fantasy action movie 47 Ronin, and also starred in Man of Tai Chi in the same year, co-starring with Tiger Chen. Most famously though, the actor is famous for portraying John Wick in the franchise of the same name. Reeves has played the fan-favorite assassin with a soft spot for dogs across four movies, and the property has expanded to include a spin-off TV show and feature film. The Matrix received a lot of praise when it hit theaters in 1999, and chief among the acclaim was the high-octane and stylized fight scenes. Getting in shape to be able to take part in the stunts and make the action look believable was tough. The actors had to go through an intensive training regime under the instruction of famed choreographer Master Yen Wu Ping. It was a process that lasted several months. Outside of preparing Reeves for his work on The Matrix, this training seemingly instilled a desire to maintain his fitness and stay active. His personal trainer, Patrick Murphy, has explained that the actor spends a large amount of time in the gym, working on his core strength and endurance to give him the ability to do much of the stunt work in the John Wick franchise himself. This allows Reeves to recover quickly and remain balanced during strenuous exercise. Speaking to GQ, Murphy said, Keanu is second to none when it comes to focus and effort for a physical role. Following the triumph of The Matrix, Keanu Reeves has been able to take some chances in his career. This has even led to him occasionally becoming involved with the projects where he works behind the camera instead of in front of it. Most notably, he directed the multilingual martial arts film Man of Tai Chi, 
In addition to portraying one of the leading characters, the film received praise from critics but failed to be a financial success. That hasn't deterred Reeves, though, as he has expressed interest in directing again. In 2012, he produced and narrated the documentary Side by Side, which looks into the changes in modern filmmaking and features interviews with David Lynch, Christopher Nolan, and Martin Scorsese. Additionally, Reeves has been heavily involved in the making of the F1 documentary Braun – The Impossible Formula 1 Story for Disney+, and acts as host and narrator. He is also involved in the adaptation of his comic book series Berserker, produced by Netflix. Excellent! The tragic death of Keanu Reeves' former girlfriend Jennifer Syme in 2001 understandably made romantic relationships more difficult for him. According to multiple sources, the actor lies he remained single after Syme's death and avoided discussing his personal life. This was likely a result of Reeves' grief and his attempts to come to terms with what had happened. However, the actor has confirmed he is in a relationship with artist Alexandra Grant. The pair originally met years ago and have worked on several books together but only revealed they were dating in 2019. It hasn't been made public how long they've been dating for, but friends of the couple suggest they may have been together longer than most people realize. Despite being somewhat reclusive about his private life, the actor has spoken publicly about Grant. In an interview with People, he was asked about when he last experienced bliss. He said, A couple of days ago with my honey, we were in bed. We were connected. We were smiling and laughing and giggling, feeling great. It was just really nice to be together. Reeves became an internet meme in 2010 when a photograph emerged of him sitting alone on a bench eating a sandwich. The sullen and moody look gave rise to what people called Sad Keanu, with the image soon going viral. Fans quickly established June 15th as an unofficial international holiday called Cheer Up Keanu Day. Despite all the online buzz, Reeves was initially unaware of the extent of the meme until it was made clear to him in an interview with Vulture a few months later. With fans around the world discussing what was going on in his head to make him look so unhappy, Reeves finally revealed the answer in an interview on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. According to the actor, nothing particularly upsetting prompted the photograph. Rather, it was a combination of several rather mundane factors, and he was really just eating a sandwich. I was thinking. I had some stuff going on. Sure. <laughs> I was hungry. Being a celebrity might seem like the best thing in the world, and it certainly comes with plenty of perks. However, there is also a dark side to being a public figure, and it can sometimes attract individuals who want to get a little too close for comfort. One far too common issue comes with stalkers, who become obsessive over famous people and go to extreme lengths to see them. This is something that has affected Keanu Reeves during his career. The Hollywood Reporter revealed in early 2023 that the actor secured a temporary restraining order in Los Angeles against an alleged stalker. According to court documents, the 38-year-old man reportedly turned up at Reeves' home and harassed him multiple times. Police investigations confirmed the person had trespassed at the actor's house in Los Angeles at least six times, at one point leaving behind a DNA kit that he intended to use to try and prove he and Reeves are related. In 2022, Keanu Reeves recited the poem Pull My Daisy as part of the 35th annual House of Tibet Benefit Concert. The event is closely associated with the Dalai Lama and is contentious within China due to its support for Tibet's independence movement. Almost immediately after his appearance was announced, Chinese nationalists spoke out against the actor and even proposed boycotts of movies starring Reeves including The Matrix Resurrections. Many of those who have previously voiced support for Tibet have seen censorship in China, with performers effectively having any content featuring them banned as a result. A similar fate awaited Rees, with Chinese authorities forcing streaming sites within the country to remove his films. Platforms such as Tencent removed all mention of Rees, with films like The Matrix and The Lake House all being pulled from streaming services. Considering the importance of China as a growing market for cinema, this may have a significant effect on Reeves' career moving forward. Whoa. 2022 saw Keanu Reeves named as one of the most influential people of the year by Time magazine. He was listed alongside actors such as Andrew Garfield, Zoe Kravitz, and Mila Kunis, as well as figures such as Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky and Apple CEO Tim Cook. The annual list was first published in 1999 and features individuals that time writers and contributors 
feel have had the most influence and power over events in the world. Reeves' friend and Matrix co-star Carrie Ann Moss wrote his entry in Time, stating, His essence and humanity come through every character he plays, as well as in the everyday interactions that the world catches glimpses of. We don't need to be inspired by something bigger than us, but rather by what already lives inside of us. Keanu so kindly illuminates this for us all. In the early 2000s, Reeves made Forbes' annual Celebrity 100 list and received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Meanwhile, the New York Times called him the fourth best actor of the 21st century. Outside of the world of acting and film, Keanu Reeves has continued his artistic efforts. He created the comic series Berserker, serving as writer for the 12-issue limited series. His other publishing projects include Ode to Happiness and Shadows, a collaborative project, illustrated by his partner, Alexandra Grant. Alongside Grant and Jessica Fleischman, Reeves set up X Artist Books as an independent publishing house for creative books. His movie success and wealth gives Reeves the ability to pursue another passion, motorcycles. With Gard Harlinger, he set up his own custom motorcycle company in the form of Arch Motorcycle Company and released custom bikes, such as the KRG T1 for $78,000. The actor is also well known for his work with the alternative rock band Dogstar. He founded the group with Robert Mailhouse, and the pair currently performs with Brett Domrose, who replaced Greg Miller. They released two albums before going on hiatus in 2002, but reformed to go on tour and put out a third album in 2023.